All right, guys, I think um, we're going to get started because this is probably all of us. We're competing against a bunch of uh, a bunch of balls. <laughs> Um, so, my name is Listy Thomas. I am an uh, associate professor at the Natter School of Medicine in Connecticut. It's a new medical school, and um, I have the privilege of doing this workshop with uh, three illustrious uh, academic EM leaders. And so, we thought uh, we would do this session on mentoring the mentors, and it's a CDEM sponsored um, event. We have. Hmm, sorry. No financial disclosures. And uh, our learning objectives were to identify, define best practices for formal mentorship programs uh, for EM educators, especially uh, portrait directors, and identify areas for promotion and advancement for career and academic EM, and utilize the resources offered by uh, this new uh, uh, SAM CDEM Career Development and Mentorship Committee and um, the mentorship program that we're hoping to develop through that. I know we all know what mentoring is, but uh, just the, the literature definition of it really uh, had, highlights the ongoing relationship between two individuals with the outcome focus on the personal and professional development of the mentee. However, we all know from our different roles, perhaps as mentors and mentees, that um, this is often a reciprocal relationship and uh, successful relationships not only enhance individual performance but also uh, the departmental performance in terms of increased research outcomes and job satisfaction for both the mentor and the mentee. And we feel it's vital to the growth of academic emergency medicine. Uh, this is a nice graphic that really helps to illustrate where we are in the mentoring profile. and. Uh, you know, you can be a role model, a teacher, a coach, um, and then work your way up into counselor and advisor and sponsor. And as you do so, your involvement with your mentee, your, your relationship with the other person, uh, gets more involved. And the mentor's role is really this career advancement piece, and that's it, the intent of it, right? And so you may have different mentors at different aspects of your uh, psychosocial and professional development but we're really speaking to the career development of, of our mentees. So we were going to do this Kahoot, but since it's a small audience, I think it's better if we just uh, break up. Set it up. We can do our introductions while you're setting it up. Yeah, all right. So let us introduce ourselves to you, and then maybe you can introduce yourselves and your roles to us. And then we'll just kind of get started. Um, so I'm Jessica
hoping you could um, log into kahoot.it on your cell phone and do this little, it's about five minutes, just six questions. So go to kahoot.it and I'll give you this PIN number. So if you can put the PIN number in, 840194. And then, I guess, when you log in, you can put in a nickname or your initials. It should start to show up. Good, got four players. Okay. Anybody else need any more time? All right, we're up to nine players. That's the room. So you'll see, have you all played Kahoot before? No? Um, so it'll ask you a question, and you'll see on your screen this, the different shapes. So if you're a med student, resident, an early career attending, or a seasoned <coughs> attending, please click the corresponding shape on your... Thank you, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 career, what's the grade? Where are we at? Where are we rehearsed this? Yeah, it's that like old ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, one med student, welcome, and uh, one resident, got a few early career attendings, welcome, and then our seasoned attendings. So, just gives you a sense of who's in the room um, to work with. And then, what's your academic rank, and I'm sorry, this may not apply for the student or the resident. So, if you don't have a rank, red, assistant professor, associate professor, full professor. All right. So three assistant professors, two associates, and four full professors. Congratulations. All right. And are you a mentor? No, but I would like to be one. No, I have no interest. Yes, and I enjoy it. Yes, but it is not rewarding. So I made these questions longer time-wise, <laughs> but uh, 10 more seconds. Looks like all the answers are in. Good. Wow, I'm, I'm really glad to know that you all enjoy your mentoring relationships. And I am in the uh, red as well. I'd like to work with you. And then do you have a mentor? No, I don't need one. No, but I would like to have one. Yes, but I don't find the relationship rewarding. Um, your relationship as a mentee with your mentor. And yes, I really enjoy the relationship. <laughs> All right. Wow, so it's nice. A lot of people are in, in um, valuable relationships, which is excellent. And Hopefully we can all learn from each other in this session as well. And then do you understand the promotions and tenure process at your institution? And I think all of our full professors in the room probably do very well. No, we don't have one. No, I wish I knew more. Yes, but it is an unattainable goal. And yes, I'm working on progressing through the PNC process currently. It's the thing about Kahoot, it's like pretty user friendly. So you get, <laughs> the learning curve is fast. Yes, good. Other people are working on it, so this is on your mind, and hopefully you will give you resources through it. And then, do you have a formal mentoring program at your institution? Yes, no, not sure. And thinking about it, perhaps. <laughs> is this not what your mentorship relationship looks like? <laughs> Great. So an even mix of that. So. Hopefully, those are the questions, and hopefully that gives us a little bit of a context to work with for this workshop.